Did you happen to see my husband? He took my dentures and... Your dentures! That's one weird way to have a marital spat. Anyway, welcome back to Let's Play Turno Sonata. Spent a long ass time in that last place grinding. Okay, you gotta watch yourself, Beat. It's not gonna be the same as fighting the rats in Retardondo. I know. Don't worry. I'll take some good pictures. Pictures? Come on, don't waste time on that stuff. You need to help me fight. Hey, that's not nice. Don't say things like that. Taking pictures isn't a waste of time. Fine, fine. You can tell me all about it later. Come on, let's get moving. That reminds me, I gotta find a place where I can sell those. Even if they are just a bunch of the rats or whatever. Don't know how good they are. I haven't gotten a tutorial for that yet, so... Maybe they're waiting. Do one of you guys have the saber I can finally equip? Thought I'd pick something like that. Yeah, plus five. There we go. You only eight? Oh my gosh. I'm so small. I couldn't move, so we might be getting something here. Our party level has gone up, and we're getting better at real fighting. So now I'm going to teach you something else that's really important. This is the action gauge. Yeah, I know that already. Come on, just listen. Up until now, your action gauge has only gone down when you're actually doing something, right? But from now on, as soon as you make your first move, your action gauge will just keep going down no matter what. Huh? What does that mean? What it means is that even when you're standing still, time will keep on passing. If you're not paying attention, your turn will be over before you know it, and it'll be your enemy's turn. What? That's no fair. Fighting like that's gonna be really, really hard. Yep, that's right. And that's where tactical time comes in. Tactical time? What's that? Tactical time is the time you get at the beginning of your turn to figure out what it is you're gonna do. As long as you don't move or attack, you can stay in tactical time for as long as you want. Okay, so then what you're saying is, the tactical time you get is unlimited, and that would mean... Oh, I get it. So when it's your turn, all you have to do is stay standing still, and then you have lots of time to think about what you're gonna do when you start fighting. Exactly. One more thing. From now on, the more echoes you build up, the more power your special attacks will have when they hit an enemy. Echoes? An echo is what you get when your hit count reaches a certain number, and they just keep accumulating. Right over here. Oh, I get it. In that case, we should just use our special attacks all the time. That way, we'll be building up lots and lots of echoes. And our special attacks will just keep getting stronger and stronger because we'll have so many echoes. It's perfect. We'll be killing two birds with one stone. I am so smart. Not so fast. Unfortunately, when you use your special attacks, all the echoes you've accumulated get used up. Basically, the power of your special attack increases, but you lose all of your echoes because of it. So, if you want to try and build up a lot of echoes, you can't do it by using your special attacks. Oh, but how can you ever get enough echoes to use them with your special attacks? It must be really hard for one person to build up so many all by himself. That's right, and that's why we have to work together to build them up. Echoes don't just belong to you, they belong to everyone who's fighting. But then that means that you could use up all the echoes that I had worked so hard to build up. That doesn't sound very fair, you know. Come on, don't say things like that. I'm counting on you, partner. Beat, look over there at that enemy. What about it? How did that happen? It just turned into a completely different monster. There are some monsters that can transform, depending on whether they're in sunlight or in shadow. Some will get really strong, and some will even change the kinds of attacks they use. So you gotta be really careful. <laughs> They just opened a whole shit ton of new elements just for like one or two things. Okay, so as soon as I start moving over there, I'm gonna be in trouble. I don't know if my fire blast can reach around him. I wish I had a watcher call it, like one of the sticks could let me uh 
Yes, yes, nothing. Oh god, that hurt. Huh? That's weird, I knocked him out of it. Good job, good job. That actually built up the echoes, but I guess if you keep doing the special attacks, you only get like the four. So, it's possible to lead with a special attack and then build up? Because some of those are like multi-hits. Copper necklace. I got that for somebody else now too. Put that on boot to balance him out. The rats are back again. Can they change up out here? Oh, this is new. So, what do you think? I think it's pretty good. Everywhere are these little guys that turn into really big guys in certain parts. I wonder if that's true for those enemies. So, how about we go around? I'm mean, fighting these rats normally, so maybe not. Sky to fire! Did you echo because you built echoes? Sometimes it just says out aloud and there's like an echo. Oh good lord. This game is not stingy with enemies. Once again, I like. Just give me tutorial fights. These guys are small potatoes. So I'm trying to run into things with more meat and experience on them. Serpentine Lock. I think that's a new weapon for boot. And just an additional plus two for that. I gotta be careful. Those guys can really hurt when they get big. Our attack's doing like 300, 400. I should have to use a peach cookie to heal beat. So it's over here. Oh, there's one just right there. Which way to go? This way? There's someone over there. Also, this treasure. Light guard. An item or an equipable? No, nah, it's a. Is that for anybody? Yeah, boost you up a bit. If we can. My inner voice cries out for me to capture and paint the full essence of this great landscape. But the lush bounty of nature is more lush than I imagined. Almost used up all my green paint. Is there, like, side quest I'm supposed to be doing? Like, the woman with the dentures and now this guy with the paint? Maybe some, like, weird, uh, Link's Awakening fetch quest. Do we trade this for this? Wouldn't that be something? You're going down. Sky to fire. Fire 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 Oop, that one didn't hit. And here comes the hurt. It's a little better now that I'm blocking. Put something else back here. Pretty good, nope. Huh? Or that just hit twice. I'm just gonna keep on fighting. Well, I already up there in 50 attack. I'm gonna be stronger than anybody. Sledgehammer. Ooh, new attack. And there it is. But do I really want him getting close? Really? 
Well, I guess he doesn't need two distance attack, but... Actually, that probably is useful can be. It eats up a lot of your meter, though. I saw it was like three points something, so I'm like, that's expensive. What did you think? Not bad experience, though. Won't always run into those with their heavies. Or I gotta grind really well to get them. Take advantage of the small ones and have them turn. Yeah, he's gonna get his watcher call back. Yeah, 3.3 seconds. We have knockdown. Sure, could be useful. I prefer to be ranged with you. Press on. That's a BB dragon. Don't take all day. You're going down. Wow, it actually is called BB Dragon. Oh, that did do good with the guard. this way. What the hell? Well, that's that enemy doing things. Star one. Does it work if they block? No. Doesn't build unless you. Gotcha. Kinda close. Got that peach cookie I used on Bullet back. And uh I guess an even newer sword for uh Allegretto. If we don't hurry, we're gonna get caught in the rain. So what? We can handle a little rain. I mean, the hideout roof leaks like crazy. <laughs> and that's just when it drizzles. Yeah, you got a point there. Son, impossible to tell the story of Chopin's life without the mention of this woman. Get a history lesson on this, then. Wow. George Sand. You mean like George Dissand? Is that what he was, uh... Is that where they got the Gundam guy from? Famous author in Paris who already published numerous books. His real name was Aurore Dudevant. George Sand was her pseudonym. Oh, it's a shoe. 
From 1838, Chopin would share his life with Sand for a long period. However, when they first met, he commented to a friend, Is that really a woman? Sand was somewhat a somewhat masculine woman who wore pants and smoked cigars in public. Even her pseudonym George Sand was masculine. She was unswayed by society's norms and expressed herself unabashedly. Sandy's Moors? The romance novels she wrote were extremely popular. Of course, Chopin himself was also famous as a pianist in Paris by this time. The relationship between the genius, genius pianist and the popular author must surely have been the talk of the town. At the time, Chopin was not in the best of health and perhaps the attention paid to them by society aggravated his condition. During this time, San took Chopin to the Spanish island of Mallorca, Mallorca to allow him to rest. To avoid attention, they left Paris separately and rendezvoused at a village near the border. They found a place to live on Mallorca, and Chopin lived a happy life amongst the palm trees, orange trees, and pomegranates. Pomegranates are pretty good. Chopin's health appeared to be improving, but the island entered its rainy season, and the warm weather vanished. Chopin caught a cold that eventually led to a relapse of tuberculosis symptoms. This time, tuberculosis was a terminal illness and Chopin and Sans landlord evicted them, fearing contagion. Yeah, yeah. You can see pe people nowadays with that sort of thing. Unless that's going to come up again because of the anti-vaxxers, you know. Break out measles in New York, I just heard. Anyway. After being forced from their home in 1839, Chopin and Sand arrived at the Valdemasa Monastery. And rain continued to fall outside. Man, Chopin can't catch a break. The sound of falling rain continued incessantly, the simple sound of raindrops blending together to form a dreary rhythm. It was under these circumstances that this song is said to have been born in a room in Valdemosa. actual classical piece that I'm talking over while explaining the... A work created by Chopin at age 29. The journey to find rest ironically resulted in the worsening of Chopin's health. But George de Sand devotedly stood by Chopin's side, never fearing infection. In 
there is little doubt that she was an invaluable source of comfort for Chopin. Is, is tuberculosis actually contagious is the thing, too? They might just be freaking out for nothing. Look at this, maybe she didn't get sick because it's not, I don't know. Looks like it's finally started raining. You know, the rain makes the plants look even more alive. For Chinudo's flowers, the rain is a blessing from heaven. I'm sorry we interrupted that JR Putu to talk about the actual pianist Chopin. And my controller tapped again, because I keep forgetting to... So, eh? I wonder if the rain affects these enemies in some significant way out in the battlefield. Also, maybe we'd be joining up with those guys. Let me buy, okay? Be a party of four? Not doing that much hits, this might be even harder. But she does have healing. They both do. Oops. Just gotta be careful. Not a whole lot in the way of, uh... Lick to where I can help myself to some healing. rain out here. I think they're making it less and less numerous, those light sources. How open that was, yet there was only like the candles to really... That's the thing too, you want, you want to fight them outside of that, so I think they get stronger and you get more experience out of them. Alright, you're the only one that has the watcher color. Still. Very, very empty. Great coconut. That's its name? Wow. Pugrave. Boom! Can I get 16? Yeah, let that go! ba -bams. Almost 5k in damage with that one. I don't know if there'll be like any bonuses for that sort of thing later. It's like, oh, now you don't have your tactical time anymore, but... You're gonna get a... XP increase? I'm all about that. I don't know. This game's so far playing out like an onion. It's like, okay, you play... It's like, okay, you're getting used to this. Let's peel a little bit more off. And yeah, now that you're accustomed to how the game's combat works. We'll give you this next level with the party and you can do more things. This could be a problem. Especially if I keep fucking up like that and hitting the X button because I thought he had more turns. Still nothing on counterattacks yet, either, bro. So, I don't know. Well, I've got a bunch of them together, because I'm hitting more than one. You saw there. This will do more because I. Yeah, that was 400. Yes. 360. Yeah, a little bit more. 
And I gotta build up just to get better healing. Continue your sleep. 195. Bit of a pain in the ass to get, but overall worth it. Might be easier to get these guys out here. But, you know, that's why I'm re really hoping things join together and then I just get all... We all meet up in the middle here and we can just, like, really start to grind. Because killing it, because then we kill these enemies only that much easier. Unless they grow too. Maybe there's, like, maybe start doing, like, groups of, like, five enemies or some shit to compensate. Oh, did I go down here, Yara? Takes a long fighting these things I don't even recall. Yeah, I went up and fought. There was like two here. Anything on the far sides of this? No. Again, really hoping that they look like they meet up. Really hoping that's the case. You dare to turn your sword to me? But with that, I might be actually like leaving the area if I get a chance to do anything. Level nine for Polka here. Now is that continuation, or is this continuation? That's a chest, which means that's continuation. Okay, open that up. Glowing tail, okay. We might be useful to use those out here. Turn all the lights on. If there's like any place that doesn't have healing. Wet umbrella, hey! New weapon for Polka. Good thing I found that. I was like plus 10 for her attack. If she needs to get close, if ever. Let me buy, okay? I mean, she can build Watcher Cults, too, and get that off. <laughs> so, further ahead. Okay, they show you that chest in, just in case you missed it. Hey, our old friend the birds are here, too. That's a guaranteed hundos. Yeah, these giant coconuts are a little bit more, so if you see the small ones, if you want to grind. They also take forever to kill. Oh, the big bulb guys drop more of them floral powders that heals for half. More stuff for my item wheel. Anything over here? Before I head up? Really? Nothing. Not for sure there'd be something there. Whoa, is that a... Wait, that's not new. Nah, it's these things again. It just looked different. Let me buy, okay? From that angle. Looks like a treasure over here. If I can... Just move around to it. Yeah. Hunting coat. That might be for uh, Chopin. Yeah, plus seven for him. be a dead end. Camera's not really all that cooperative on that side. Save point over there, which means... Okay, Polka can't really mash it out. Frederick can. Like I'll show here as long as I get... Unless I kill him first. One, two, three. Eight. Go back. Back into a nebulous. You guys can run up on a guy and get like maybe like the twelve hits and then as while it's still going down to zero, if I, as long as I mash triangle at the end, I'll get that Pew Grave at the end. I'll get even extra damage too, so. Maybe everyone has like a set rhythm or pattern. Ooh, I almost walked into watching up without saving. That could have been a problem. Cause there was an enemy right past this. We should get out of this storm. Is there some place around here where we can take shelter? Hmm, I don't know. Hold on a second. Someone's coming. Oh, why hello there. Are you two out looking for something in this wretched weather? 
I am looking for something myself, but I'm learning that it's not such an easy task when it's pouring down rain like this. Perhaps you wouldn't mind providing me with entertainment to ease my frustration. What? I really do hate it when my clothes get wet. And here I find the two of you just as I was starting to get irritated. I can't stand the smell of this forest, the plants, the animals, and the sweat coming from you people! <gasps> what are you doing? Oh no, he's an animal antagonist. He's got a sword and everything. Oh god, even guarding me hits a fuck ton. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here comes this trope of guy I'm supposed to lose to. Fucker ain't even flinching. That was a six full 16. It, it combo into it too, and nothing. He's done. I got dirt on my clothes. Oh dear, what am I doing? I really don't have time to play around here with the likes of you. I need to go find that glowing creature. Thank you kindly for the workout. Let me relieve some stress. I think I should be able to get back to my work now. I'm very grateful to both of you. You kicked us without even using Bonkai. Just base form. Uh, damn you, Johnny Bosch. <laughs> Finally, it looks as though the thunderstorm has passed. How is Frederick's condition? Better. He appears to have settled down somewhat, just like the weather outside. I hope he's all right. His violent spasms have stopped for the time being. I think he's all right for now. He looks peaceful again. Perhaps he was startled by the lightning. Maybe that's what caused his seizure. Yes, madam, that may very well be true. But I have a suspicion that that wasn't the only cause. I think tonight will be crucial to his recovery. Looks like all that rain and lightning have stopped. Thank goodness. Hey, Beat, did I see you shaking back there? What? No way! I wasn't shaking. Oh, really? You were hanging on to your camera for dear life, weren't you? Well, let's just hurry up and get out of here, okay? And now we're back to these two. Okay, so they're gonna save those guys. Oh, I think we're actually where they started. I thought we were going to meet up in the middle. Yeah, it's empty. Yeah, this is all what you call. We already did all this. Okay. So, we're they're just right behind them then. Huh? No one told me about this. Yeah, they're not going to get prime what you calls cuz all the there's no shadows no more. Sunny day, keeping the clouds away. On, on my on. way to Polka and Chopin. Let me quickly get over where I can save those two guys. Oh no, there's some out here. Wait, did I miss one somehow? Hold on. Unless I put some new stuff out there so we'll be able to get these. That's weird. Okay, so the save point's over here. I was actually able to go a little bit further with these two. So maybe they're farther ahead? What's this guy all huffing about? Oh no! You're the one with the uh 
You're the one who took the dentures. Don't do that, sir. I guess I can't help them after all. Pushing a little bit farther than they did. Oh, we're at actual village here. Oh no, this is back in, um... This is the first village. We're back in, uh... Tenudo. Oh no, this Never mind. This is new, okay. Guess this is another forest village. Or the fact that Noodle was probably more plain than forest. Then someone already brought them here, maybe? What? Hopefully. Oh, terrific. It finally stops raining, so of course now we find a house. Hey! I think I see someone over there. Hello there. Um, do you live in this house? Yes, I do. My name is March. Nice to meet you. My sister and I are the guardians of this forest. So it's just the two of you, alone, all the way out here? Must be tough. Not at all. I suppose it is dangerous sometimes, but my sister always manages to take care of things. Lately, though, I must admit, I've been surprised at how many guests have been showing up around the forest. Oh, are you awake already? You know, you could have stayed in bed longer if you wanted to. Conscious of the upper entrance of the forest. The Agogos came to me and told me where I could find you. I think your friend is out taking a walk somewhere nearby. He kept mumbling to himself, something about trying to find inspiration for his music. Um, excuse me, but what are Agogos? They're. hmm. Well, they're round creatures. Huh? Round creatures? Anyway, they don't approach human beings. And recently, it seems as though the Agogos haven't really been showing themselves at all. You're a very lucky person. It's quite unusual for Agogos to take a liking to a human. In fact, I still can't believe they came to me about rescuing a human being at all. This is the first time anything like that's ever happened. So the Agogos rescued me? Even though... Even though I'm... I think maybe you should get some more rest right now. I'll fix you something warm to eat. Oh, I'm sorry, I just realized. I don't even know your name. Who, me? Well, I'm... You're Polka, right? What? You sell floral powder in Retardando. Yeah, I heard someone say your name once. Oh, yeah. And that magic you used was really great, too. Hey, Polka, what's the matter? Why'd she run off like that? Did we say something wrong? Oh, Polka, you're up. I've picked a snack for us. Something happened? She really shouldn't be running around like that. She's only just recovering. That path doesn't go very far off, though. 
So at least she shouldn't get lost. Huh? That's Polka! Oh, I see. It's just the three of us. Okay, so a party of three. She went this way, right? Back into the forest? Oh no, this is up and a ways. Polka, are you okay? I can understand that you want to fight, but are you sure? After all, you're recovering too, aren't you? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Right now we have to concentrate on keeping these things uh, away from Polka. That thing looks formidable. Come on, let's fight! Phantom Wave! Phantom Wave! Not bad! That hits four all the time. Whoop. Yeah, one shot. Oh, here he comes. Okay. Not as bad as Johnny and Bosch. Okay. This looks like it hits twice up close. Good news for Matt. Yeah, see, it just let me do all- even though it was down to zero, let me do the other four hits. I think his son one's stronger, I gotta stay in the- Oof! Oh, it sucks when it hits multiples. down. Looks like he's getting weaker. Ooh, wow. For a to just... Nice. Did you get hurt? No, I'm alright. Thank you. Thank goodness you're alright. What is that thing? Hmm. I bet it's one of those agogos that girl was talking about before. It's kind of weird. Look, Reddo. It's glowing. Agogo, thank you for saving me. I've never seen one of those before. Where did it go? Great job, Beat. You scared it off by taking that stupid thing out. I wish I could have touched it. Gee, I'm sorry, Reddo. So your name is Beat? Agogos are probably very shy creatures. I'm sure it'll come out again. And I take it your name is Retta. Is that short for something else? I'm Allegretto. I have a little store in Retardando. It's small, but we have a tough time keeping stuff in stock each day. Anyway, enough about me. What's a powder seller like you doing way out here? Are you headed somewhere? I, uh... Mom. 
Mom, I'm going to see the Count at Forte Castle. Now is not the time to discuss this. We have a guest in the house. I told you, the reason floral powder isn't selling is because people can buy mineral powder so cheaply. I'm sure he'll understand if I talk to him. Polka dear, don't be foolish. You can't possibly go all the way to the castle in Forte by yourself. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me! Polka! Dear, it's not that important if floral powder doesn't sell. We'll survive somehow. Polka, are you listening? Polka, please. If you can hear me, then answer me. You like indoors, Polka? Boom. <laughs> Polka, are you listening? Oh, yes. I... I'm on my way to Forte. That's a pretty long name. Could you say it one more time? Frederick Francois Chopin. But you can just call me Frederick. Frederick, huh? Okay, no problem. I'm really good at remembering people's names. You said you're going to Forte. Do you mean Forte Castle? Yes, I do. You should know that Forte is not a very friendly place right now. It's much nicer here in a go-go forest. The Count of Forte Castle is responsible for mining Mount Rock. He's been making some kind of medicine. Ah, you mean mineral powder, right? Yes, that's right. My sister Salsa's on her way there right now. She's going to ask them to please stop all the mining. If something isn't done soon, the Agogos are going to lose even more of their home. That's just terrible. You know, I was actually going to ask them to reduce the amount of mineral powder they're selling. Hey, hey, hold on. Wait a minute, you guys. What about the people of Retardando? If they can't get mineral powder, they're the ones who will suffer. Oh. I know you gotta sell your floral powder, but there's other people out there trying to survive too. And with the taxes as high as they are now, people can't even afford bread most of the time. Oh no, really? It's true. Everybody's already weak from hunger. And if they can't buy medicine when they need it on top of that, you're gonna see people start dying. But wait, floral powder is medicine too. I know right now it's more expensive than mineral powder because of the taxes, but... Exactly! That's the problem right there! The taxes are just way too high! That's why we're on our way to speak with Count Walt. We're gonna ask him to lower the taxes on some things other than mineral powder. That all sounds reasonable, but... I'm afraid it won't solve the problem a go-go forest is facing. Well, yeah, I guess you're right about that. Then, instead of stopping the mining completely, maybe we can get them to cut back, or even find a totally different way to make this stuff. Polka? It's just that I'm so ashamed of myself. I thought I was doing something that would help everyone. But now that I've met all of you, I realize I was only thinking of my own village. I'm so sorry. Hey, come on. You don't need to beat yourself up about it. You're just trying to help people, same as the rest of us. Yeah, and anyway, if people could get floral powder at a cheaper price than now, then there'd be less need for mineral powder right there. Two birds with one stone. I think what Beat is saying is more or less correct. Oh, I forgot. I hate to ask this since we've only just met, but could you do something for me? If 
if you happen to come across my sister when you're in Forte, could you possibly give her this hat? But how are we gonna find her? I mean, we don't even know what your sister looks like. Oh, I don't expect that will be a problem. You see, we're twins, so I think you'll recognize her right away. Gotcha. All right, then. I think we can handle that. Come on, let's get going, Polka. We'll go together. What? Go to Forte together? But I... Yes, you should go together. I think that's a very good idea. I mean, we're all heading to the same place, so we might as well stick together, right? Besides, if you collapse again, the Agogos might not be around to rescue you the next time. Together? Really? Dear, it's not that important if floral powder doesn't sell. We'll survive somehow. Polka, are you listening? Polka, please. If you can hear me, then answer me. Oh, Mom. I'm sorry. The truth is, this is about more than just selling floral powder. I don't have long to live. So I want to do something meaningful with that time. I think that meeting Frederick helped me realize what I really want to do with my life. I don't have much time, but I, I want to use my power for good somehow. I want to help as many people as I can before it's too late. I'm not going to worry about what other people think. If they're scared of getting sick and they want to stay away from me, that's fine. Up until now, every stranger has been my enemy. I convinced myself of that and couldn't trust anyone. But not anymore. Now I'm gonna start off by trusting people. Because if I can do that, then... I think I can become a Heaven's Mirror. to go with you very much okay then we should get going oh Frederick by the way what are you gonna do I was heading for Forte as well what you're going to Forte too Frederick oh that's great I guess that means we're all going to the same place this trip is really getting crowded huh March, thank you so much for everything. Don't mention it. And if you ever come through the forest again, please drop by. Ah, oh, darn. I wish I'd gotten another chance to take a picture of that glowing of go, go Oh, well. Are you still going on about that? You know you can just go back to that same cave again later. Allegretto's right. As long as some Agogo show themselves, I'm sure you'll get to take a picture of them next time. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> What if it wasn't in a go go, but something else? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Please, there is no need to do any such thing. What can Andantino possibly do? Do they think they'll start a revolution just by declaring they oppose the government? Still, my lord, we've received reports of Andantino engaging in activities to disturb the peace. Perhaps it would be best to nip this in the bud. Legato, stop worrying. Disturbing the peace is exactly what rebels do. Well, yes. But a revolution involves toppling a country's government. Do you really think Andantino is capable of doing that? No. No matter how many followers they gather, Forte Castle will not fall. Andantino knows that. Perhaps better than anyone. And yet they continue to fight. Why do you think that is? I recognize that music. Well, half of it. <laughs> Gotta fight Adelheid. <laughs> On November 29th, 1830, an insurrection occurred in Warsaw, the capital of Poland. It was the November Uprising. At the time, most of Poland were, was Russian territory, and the desire for independence had been growing. About four weeks before the revolution, on November 2nd, Chopin left the increasingly dangerous Warsaw and headed for Vienna. It said that Chopin's friends encouraged him to leave the country because they knew rebellion was coming. But Chopin was unaware of this, and his trip had been planned many months in advance. Chopin was unusually talented, but physically weak. So I had no desire to stick around for that sort of thing, in case they got embroiled into the fighting. So his friends wanted him to use the piano as a weapon to fight for Poland. On November 23rd, approximately 20 days later, Chopin arrived in Vienna. And six days after that, the insurrection in Warsaw began. It went on for almost a year. Then on September 8th, 1831, Warsaw fell. Ten months of fighting had ended in defeat. Chopin, at age 21, learned of the insurrection's failure while in Stuttgart, Germany. The feelings of which he played the piano at this time take the form of the revolutionary etude. Not sure I'm saying that right. The Chopin who genuinely loved his homeland of Poland, the insurrection's failure was difficult to bear. Perhaps he found it more difficult to bear the fact that he was safe in a foreign country. Chopin would never again set foot in his native land. <laughs> 